Hey everyone, this is Siddesh from Sid's Art. If you have seen my second video from Inkscape Isometry series, then you know that I had given you a challenge to make isometric illustration of a small bookshelf using this flat vector. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. And this video is for absolute beginner. So if, feel free to skip if you think I'm going too slow or if you think you know this already. So without a further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start by turning on the grids. So go to document properties and you can do this by pressing shift control D and then select the exonometric grids, click on new. So since I had given the dimensions in pixels, I would select the grid units as pixels and everything is multiple of 10. So I would just set the minor grid length as 10 pixels and that's it so i'll just close this next thing is make sure that you turn on the snap nodes and also turn on the snap cusp nodes okay then select the bezier tool and you can start drawing but let me mention one thing that this surface uh, you can put this in either left plane or on the right plane so i would just go with the left plane so this is 300 pixels long and our every major grid is 50 pixels so i would select six units one two three four five six and it's 200 pixels tall so I would go four units down again six units in this direction and return back to the starting point now I did not give you any top view or right plane view because it's just gonna be the rectangle so let's just assume that it's also 200 pixel wide wide I mean so I will snap here and go four units in this direction, six units in this direction, and then return back to the starting point. This is our top plane. And now I just have to connect these corners to make the right plane. So next is the padding, which I had given us 20 pixels. So there are, oh, you know, this is 20, this is 20, and this is also 20. So if I stop subtract it, the, uh, it would be 200 minus 60, which is 140 pixels. And 140 divided by two is 70. So what I mean is these two rectangles are 70 pixels high so let's select the bezier tool and our padding is 20 pixels so i will just skip two units to the right and two units to the bottom and i will make a line in this direction and then again seven units down and then back to the starting point. Oops, where is it? Yeah. Yeah, and then I will just press Ctrl D and duplicate this rectangle and just drag it down, leaving 20 pixel gaps. Next, it's leg and it is 40 by 40 pixels square. So let's just draw it here. So four units down. Four units to the right and just complete the square. And then since isometry drawings do not scale up or down i can just duplicate this and place it here 
and the last thing is the drawer handle which is 100 pixels long and 20 pixels wide so I will just go here and draw a line on 10 units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 2 units down okay let's get it to the center So that's it for the front view, I mean in all cases the left plane. So let's just see what we are gonna see from the right plane. So the next thing would be this inner, inner surface of the table. So I would just draw it here. Oops. Yeah, by the way, if you are drawing using pen tool and if you make a mistake at any point, then instead of pressing escape key, which you can see totally removes everything, what you can do is you can press the backspace. So it just removes the last snap. In that way, you don't have to draw everything again. So I will complete this surface also there will be another surface uh, visible from right plane view so i would just draw that and also this leg would be visible from right plane so i will just complete it Okay, now I did not mention this but it's up to you whether to keep this handle as it is or you can make it look 3D so I would just press Ctrl D and duplicate this and bring it one unit to the left so it looks like it's coming out of the surface and then next thing is just make the top plane and the right plane so yeah i think we are done with the drawing part so next thing is the coloring wait there is a mistake here our handle is supposed to be 100 pixels long but this is 110 because this is 11 units and nothing to worry about because this can be easily done using node tools so let me start with the top plane i will just select these two nodes and bring them one unit to the left and i'll repeat the process for this here bring this here then about this rectangle and also I have to make sure that it's far unit on the either side of this middle line so it's not so let me bring it to the center okay now now we are done with the drawing part so let's just get rid of this grids <clears throat> so I will again open the document properties and just remove the grids now let's start the coloring and by the way if you haven't watched my video i have given this color codes in the description so in order to replicate it all you have to do is just make a rect uh, wait a second yeah make a rectangle open the fill tab and whatever rgba value i have given in the description just paste it here and 
do this for all colors or else you can use your own colors no big deal so let's start with the coloring and let's assume that our light source is coming in this direction so our top plane should be the lightest so I would press the D key on the keyboard and select this color same thing for this rectangle and also for the top plane of this okay now our front view should have let's give it this color a little darker than the top one and this one should have same color so okay let's bring this rectangle on top so we we'll get rid of that line okay I, I haven't filled it all right so since light is coming in this direction this and this area sh should be a darker and this too should be the darkest because they are completely covered by the, all the parts of this bookshelf oh yeah and this surface also let me send it to the back so here it is our little bookshelf is ready now you can keep the strokes if you want or you can just select it and just remove the strokes it's up to you how to keep this Oh no wait we forgot one thing that our drawing uh, our drawer should have a different color so I would select this rectangle press D and okay now we are done so either you can keep it like this or you can just remove the strokes Also, if you if you have changed your mind now that you think that it should be in the right plane, then nothing to worry about. Just select everything and just flip it horizontally, and your entire isometric drawing is in right plane now. So, hope you like this tutorial and stay tuned because I'm gonna make a lot of more of this. So see you in the next video. In next video, I'll probably show you a better way of making isometry, which can be generalized to shapes that have elliptical corners. So see you in the next video. Have a good day.